Hello there, Potter friends, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Simply Potter, and today I have with me this enormous stack of books from Inside Editions to go through with you all today. But first, if you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. Be sure to click the subscribe button and notification bell down below if you would like to join me for future Harry Pottery goodness. Now, let's get to looking at these books because, y'all, they are incredible. Now, before we go through these books together, I want to give a huge thank you to Inside Editions for sending these books to me and also for sponsoring a giveaway. So, if you want to learn how to win your own set of these books, be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video where you can learn how to do that. So you're probably wondering, Brandy, what is this magical stack of books you keep talking about? So this is the Harry Potter Film Vault series. So this is a series that Inside Editions has been publishing and in the end there will be 12 of these books in total. Currently they have six of them released, but today I have eight of them in my hands to go with you all. So these last two books, volume 7 and 8, will be released on March 17th. And if you want to order them or any of these books, I will throw a link to where you can do that in the description below. But for now, we are going to go through them all together. So volume 1 of the Harry Potter Film Vault series is Forest Lake and Sky Creatures. The cover art for this book is gorgeous. So we have the centaur, I'm guessing that it's a bane, on the front. So let us take a deep dive into this book. So here we have volume one and there are a couple of things I want to point out about these books before we dive into this one and that is that each book includes an exclusive art print which we will look at. It is in the back of the book and then each one also here has this pretty like little crest or emblem. So this book's right here looks like a Thestral and a Hippogriff and then when you open up the book the inside cover of it is actually filled with artwork of that crest. And then you turn the page, and you have the crest again, and then you have a gorgeous bit of artwork for the title page here. Each book starts out with an introduction, and then each book is separated into chapters. So we have chapter one, forest dwellers, chapter two, lake dwellers, and chapter three, sky dwellers. So let's take a peek within the forest dwellers to see what the books look like. So you have an info page about a certain topic. This one is the centaur and you can see these beautiful bits of artwork. A lot of the artwork in this book is actually concept art from the movies, which is really cool because you know these were the things that the artists were drawing up when they were thinking about the movies and it's also cool because a lot of these things like, didn't come to fruition like centaurs don't look like that they don't really look like this person from Avatar either <laughs> and then one thing I really like about these books are these fast facts that are sprinkled without them so you can just get some really quick information and there's a nice equal balance I believe between neat pictures and actual facts strong about the books So the artwork for this book that's included is this print of Ron and Harry going into Aragog's chamber. And then we're just going to do a quick thumb through of all of the pages in this book. So that is Forest Lake and Sky Creatures, Volume 1. The next book is Volume 2. And volume two is Diagon Alley, The Hogwarts Express, and The Ministry. And this is probably one of my favorite covers in the whole series. Look at this. It is The Hogwarts Express pulling into Hogsmeade with Hagrid waiting for all the students. It's so beautiful. So let's take a look at the inside of this book. So here is Harry Potter Film Vault Volume 2, Diagon Alley, The Hogwarts Express, and The Ministry. So the emblem that we have on this one is of the Hogwarts Express with the platform nine and three quarters emblem and we can see this again on the inside cover of the book and we also have it here and here on the title page with probably one of my favorite photos ever of the Wizarding World which is the Diagon Alley that you see at the Warner Brothers studio tour in London 
here are the introduction pages a lot of introduction info for this edition and then the chapters that you can see are Diagon Alley so we have a lot of information relating to Diagon Alley like the shops that you see so here are a few things that you would find in the Diagon Alley section lots of really cool photos and then we also have a chapter on Nocturne Alley so we have a few informations relating to that and photos from the set and then we have the Hogwarts Express so here's all the information regarding the Hogwarts Express that you can find in this book a gorgeous picture of the Hogwarts Express here and then also we have information about the Ministry of Magic so here are the pages that you can find in the Ministry of Magic section. And then for this exclusive art print, I am in love with this one. This is the Weasley's Wizard Weezes Shop. And this is a cosplay that I've done, so I was really, really fond of this artwork in particular. So that is the Diagon Alley, Hogwarts Express, and Ministry Harry Potter Film Vault Volume 2. Volume 3 of the Film Vault series is Horcruxes and the Deathly Hallows. Look at this cover art. This is Harry, Ron, and Hermione escaping on the back of the dragon when they break into Gringotts. And it is beautiful too. All of the artwork for this series is super beautiful. So let's take a look inside this book. So here we have the next volume in the series, and that is Horcruxes and the Deathly Hallows. And for that emblem, we have this artwork of the Hufflepuff cup. Shout out to all the Hufflepuffs. So the inside cover, again, will reflect that artwork. We have it here as well. And here with a picture of the Golden Snitch, which we know houses one of the Deathly Hollows. Here we have a couple of nifty introduction pages with some really big pictures. And we have chapters on the Sorcerer's Stone. So these are informations that you can find in the book about the Sorcerer's Stone. A lot of concept art for the Sorcerer's Stone and the trials through the Sorcerer's Stone. And then we have a chapter on the Horcruxes and Hallows, which is most of the rest of this book there's a lot of information about horcruxes and hallows so if this is something that you like i'm sure you would enjoy this book here are a few things that you will see in this book information regarding each of the hallows in depth artwork for those which is really beautiful i love how much information these books have it is just a wealth of knowledge and look isn't it so weird to see the invisibility cloak green so the artwork that we have for this book is, of course, one of the Horcruxes, and that is Slytherin's Locket. And this is the concept art for the Slytherin's Locket. And so you can have a piece of the Harry Potter conceptual art as an exclusive print. And that is the Horcruxes and Deathly Hollows Harry Potter Film Vault volume three the next book in the film vault series is volume four hogwarts students this is probably my favorite book in the entire series and for the cover we have snape sitting under a tree with james approaching him probably to bully him <laughs> let's take a look inside volume four next up is hogwarts students so the emblem for this is a beautiful depiction of the Hogwarts castle and these look like the forbidden forest trees and we have the lake I love this one a lot so on the inside cover you can find it here as well also on this page and on the title page which we have uh, artwork of Dumbledore and little baby fox and Harriet looking hilarious <laughs> honestly Harry in this one cracks me up so the chapters that you can find in this book after the introduction are Hogwarts students and we have information on a bunch of students. I'm going to stop at that page and if you followed me for a while you know why. So 
I just want to use this as an example page to why this volume in particular is my favorite. So we have information about each of the characters. A lot of the times there's also quotes on the pages. But if you're a cosplayer, you're going to particularly love this book. And it's a great reference because there are photos of the costumes that were used in the series. And there are also original sketches of the costumes so you can get tons of details if you're working on any cosplays and i love this because there's luna's original lion head so yeah there's a plethora of information for cosplayers here there is a picture of jenny's jeans for example that she wears it's great i love this edition for that we also have edition not only on hogwarts students but students in the triwizard tournament so we have Crumb, Fleur, Cedric, Harry, and all of the costumes and information related to those characters in the Goblet of Fire. And then the exclusive art print on this one is another tribute to the Weasleys. So we have the Weasleys when they make a scene leaving Umbridge behind and just making a mess of things with their fireworks. And you can see Filch down here is so funny, just pumping his fists at them. I love it so much. And I love the mountain view that they have out here. So yeah, this is the Hogwarts Students Harry Potter Film Vault Volume 4. Volume 5 of this book is Creature Companions, Plants, and Shapeshifters. Ooh. And on the front we have Fox the Phoenix looking as gorgeous as ever. Let's take a look and see what else we can find in Volume 5. Next we have Creature Companions, Plants, and Shapeshifters. So the emblem for this book is a cute little picture of Hedwig just throwing a bunch of letters around. <laughs> so here is that on the inside cover. Again, and again here with this artwork of Harry in Dumbledore's office seeing Fox the Phoenix probably before he breaks out into flame. We have the introduction to this book and then the chapters and information you can expect to find are creature companions of things like Hedwig and probably Crookshanks. So here are the creature companion pages. Arnold! And then the next chapter that we have is whoop, plants. So you can find information related to magical plants such as the mandrake and quite a few others in here. Oop, I see dirigible plums. Yeah, Luna. Then we have a chapter on shapeshifters. Things like an animagus and lots more. And then the print that comes with this one was actually the artwork from the inside cover of the last edition, the Hogwarts Students, and that is Dumbledore with Baby Fox and Harry. That is Creature Companions, Plants and Shapeshifters, Harry Potter Film Vault, Volume 5. Now, Volume 6 has my favorite cover, which is the Hogwarts Castle, which is what Volume 6 is all about. So let's take a look inside. So we have another one of my favorites in the series, which is the Hogwarts Castle. Now here we have this cool artwork of Hogwarts. This one this time includes the mountainscape and the crest with it. And here it is on the inside cover as well as here. And look at this photo. I live in Colorado. I love the mountains. That's why I live here. So this has just got me swooning. It's beautiful. So here are the introduction pages. Again, another gorgeous photo of the mountains with the castle. And look, it's J.K. Rowling's sketch of Hogwarts and her original layout for Hogwarts. So, oh, so much cool info in here, y'all. And if you want to know things about the Hogwarts castle, oh, this photo. And this is the book for you because it is predominantly 
about the Hogwarts castle. So all of this, all of this is information regarding the castle. From rooms to portraits, everything. How they made the staircases move, like the Great Hall, the battle. There's so much. And then at the end, we have a little bit of information about the Hogwarts grounds. So, oh, the mountains, oh, the forest, just a lot of really cool information. And then the artwork for this, of course, is going to be my favorite one because it is a gorgeous piece of art of the Hogwarts castle with this blood red sky. I love it. So, that was the Hogwarts Castle Harry Potter Film Vault, Volume 6. Volume 7, which will be released on March 17th, is all about Quidditch and the Triwizard Tournament. And look at that. That is Harry reaching for the snitch over an angry Draco <laughs> following behind him. So let's take a sneak preview into this book. Here is the Quidditch and Triwizard Tournament edition of the Harry Potter Film Vault. Here for the artwork we have the Quidditch hoops along with some brooms and the Goblet of Fire since the Triwizard Tournament is part of this and then I love how the outline of this part of it is the snitch. We see that again here and here <laughs> and also here with a super close-up shot of the golden snitch which is really cool if you want to DIY one of your own. Here are the introduction pages to this. Again, another beautifully swoony mountain photograph of the castle. And then we have our chapters. The first one is, of course, Quidditch. And this is most of the book here, I'd say. So we have tons of information related to Quidditch. One thing that's really cool is they show you the filming of Quidditch, which is magic in and of itself. That's like true muggle magic. Then we have outfits, so again, if you're wanting to do a cosplay, you can look at that. And we have art and photos of the items used in Quidditch. So if you're a crafter, those are really awesome reference photos. And the next chapter that we have is the Triwizard Tournament. So here we have a photo without Harry. <laughs> Poor Harry getting left out. Well, we have tons of r information related to the Triwizard Tournament, like the Goblet of Fire, the Cup, the different champions, the trials of the Triwizard Tournament, Madame Maxime, guys, this stuff has everything. Even Rita Skeeter. <laughs> Look at costume photos again. So the artwork that we have here is of the two teams, Gryffindor and Slytherin heading to the Quidditch pitch for a match. So that is the Quidditch and Triwizard Tournament Harry Potter Film Vault Volume 7. And Volume 8, which will also be released on March 17th, is a Death Eater. <laughs> so this one is The Order of the Phoenix and Dark Forces. I think this book has such a neat cover. So intense. Let's take a look at the inside of volume 8. So the last one I have to show you today is The Order of the Phoenix and Dark Forces which has this super wild artwork. So you can see it there's a phoenix and flames incorporated along with the Death Eaters emblem here. So it's really cool how they brought together the Order of the Phoenix and the Dark Forces for this emblem which can be seen in the front covers and here with this artwork I this Death Eater. It honestly looks like a sad boy. What a sad boy Death Eater. So here are the introduction pages for The Order of the Phoenix and Dark Horses. And of course, the first chapter is going to be about The Order of the Phoenix. So we have tons of information. Going back to the original Order of the Phoenix, we have new members of The Order of the Phoenix. Again, lots of cool reference photos for costumes. There you go. There are some with Molly and Arthur. How sweet. Aberforth, Sirius. A lot of characters. And then directly opposing the Order of the Phoenix, we have a chapter on the Dark Forces. So 
We have information pertaining to Lord Voldemort himself, the darkest of all wizards, and how they did his nose. A little bit of movie magic again there for you. Oh, Peter Pettigrew, young Bellatrix. All these characters that are in the Dark Forces. And for this photo, we have a picture of the Dark Forces and the Order of the Phoenix. There we see Tonks flying over what appears to be London. And that is the Order of the Phoenix and Dark Forces Harry Potter Film Vault, Volume 8. One thing I love about this book series, other than the fact that it's just full of a bunch of really cool facts about Harry Potter and the filming that went behind it, is that all of the books when put on a bookshelf make this beautiful Hogwarts crest. How stunning is that to put on a bookshelf? I love it as a Ravenclaw. It makes me sing inside. <laughs> I love it. If you love these books and want the chance to win your own, I am hosting a giveaway in collaboration with Inside Editions to give one lucky winner these eight books so you'll have your own set. Now to do that, you want to head over to my Instagram account and find the post that relates to these books. I will throw a direct link to that in the description below and follow the directions there. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up and let me know in the comment section which edition was your favorite. And while you're down there, be sure to subscribe to Simply Potter for a future Harry Pottery goodness. And don't forget to find me on social media. I love connecting and chatting with you all over on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, stay magical, my friends.